So uh, it's right here. We want to say, um, instead of in these books, uh, we should say something about uh, parents. We want to say something about how parents should, should you know, read and have their children read these books. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the file. And... Uh, um, grab it. There it is. All right. So let me share the screen first. Make it a little bit easier to see. All right. Be able to see that now? Yeah. Okay. So we want to, we want to say instead of uh, in these books, we want to say that um, parents should require their children to read these books because, and this is where you're going to have to finish it, finish off the sentence. So you can include some of this stuff down here, but that's what you're, uh, that's what you're trying to, you're going to want to talk about bravery and loyalty. All right. So give that a try, please, and I'll certainly help edit it. Okay. Um, I can mention the fact that if parents read these books to kids, it can teach them how to be loyal and brave, basically. Yeah. So so actually try try this. Try to use those words, but in the like, what could the children benefit from bravery and loyalty? Why would that be a good thing for them to learn? Okay. I just, I wrote something. I'm not sure what's right with the loyalty part of it, and I'm going to need some help with that. Right. Um, parents should require their, and so we're just going to, we're going to take what you wrote and just massage it, put it into uh, with the rest of this year. Um, 
parents should require their children to read these books because the main character, who's the main character? Percy. Percy. Main character, Percy. Uh, demonstrates qualities of bravery and loyalty. Okay. So now let's go to what you said. Um, kids, kids can learn to be, to face their fears and be brave. And also learn uh, how to, how to maintain good friendships. So instead of instead of using the word loyal again, like that's what I think ultimately you're trying to say is good friendships. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. Okay. So I feel like that is everything that needs to be said there. All right. So uh, is it okay? You feel do you do you feel like this will satisfy your teacher though? That's kind of the question. I sure hope so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I. So we don't want to spend a lot of we don't spend a lot of time in this because you know if she pushes it back, which she probably will. Um, you know. She probably will. I'm gonna just be like, just give me my grade at this point. Yeah. You know, or ask her to uh, rewrite it for you. Um, Okay, so can we we can move on to you can move on to um uh Lesson move on to eight. the next one. Yeah. So let me uh, get a new word document open. All right, so I'm just going to snip in from the lesson the uh, the choices. And it says select one of the following categories. All right, so let's look at these. Tell me what you know about applying to a job scholarship um the job application really isn't appropriate it's, it's more like a cover letter for a resume um that's 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 not that doesn't make any sense let's go to uh what do you know about uh scholarships and cover letters for resumes i know that scholarships help when like to, to get into sometimes colleges because it means like you get your like some of the expenses paid off, right? Is that what you mean with the scholarship? Yes. So academic scholarships or sports scholarships, they go towards the cost of education. And what a lot of students don't know is that the money you get doesn't always have to go just towards the tuition or the room and board. If there's extra money left over, they give that to you. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. It is. And and like there's like there's a lot of scholarships that go unused each year because people don't apply or yeah, they they just they don't do the things needed to keep them going. Um, you know, but but the like what most people want is the the big ones. They don't want the smaller ones. Um, but you know, some simple math here, thousand dollar scholarship is the same as ten one hundred dollars scholarships but which is more effort well the 10. so i don't think you're sharing your screen oh thank you for being uh, on top of that well there done. we go got it yeah okay. <laughs> so a lot of people don't realize that scholarship uh, it doesn't it's the amount that matters not not how many um so uh, one of the things i think you, um, 
one of the things that you um may I don't know. Do you, do you, I would rather you write a resume because I think I can better help you with that. But um, the, the scholarship application is more of like a feel good story. Um, you're, you're trying to like demonstrate that you're, you're a worthy recipient of, of this money. The cover letter is more about talking about your skills, like things you're good at. I see. There is some overlap. I mean, you, but, but the scholarship is more about need or merit based, you know, like I got good test scores. Uh, I'm planning to, you know, uh, save small animals because I'm going to be a veterinarian someday. Like that's the kind of like thing you would write about there. Cover letter for resume is more like, Hey, these are my skills. I think you can help you out in this job. Mm. But it's also keep in mind, like, I don't, I have, I, it's been 20 years since I've applied for a scholarship, um, cover letter resume. That's something that I help with all the time, but we can do both. We can do either one. So you, it's your pick pick a scholarships more likely to be something you're going to do in the short term. Um, cause I assume you do want to go to college or get some scholarships. Yeah. So that's more like something you're going to, uh, to want to work on. Um, let's do the scholarship. Okay. All right. So there's a great website uh, called My Scholly. Let me see if I can find it and then I'll share my screen. Yeah, here it is. All right. Share screen. So the, the problem, the problem with, um, problem with scholarships for a while is that nobody knew where to find them. You know, you might you might have one if you're local 4-H club or you maybe through a church or or, you know, you, um, you know, you're you're skating. Maybe there's one through there, but like there's never a place to get all the scholarships. OK, um, so like most things, they want you to sign up, uh, but they help you apply for uh, scholarships. And I'm not affiliated with this website at all, uh, but this is the one that I recommend to parents and students. All right. So um, I just want you to be aware of this website. Maybe show your parents, talk to them about, uh, you know, getting us getting account signing up there. OK, so That's let's true. look for some uh, uh, scholarship scholarship application essay topic. Scholarship essay uh, topic. But so here, here are some uh, questions that they might want you to answer. We're going to stick to some that are more. So let me go back to the other screen. Um, all right. So uh, we are not going to do the tell us about yourself, you're going to incorporate that. Uh, we're going to incorporate that. Um, we're also going to talk about how like, like one and two go into the actual scholarship essay. Three is really, uh, is really the, um, well, first thing for you maybe to think about, do you want to talk about a time that you failed? So, the reason you want to talk about a failure is it is it uh it it's like it, it opens up what's called a story gap and they want to learn more about uh about you i see okay all right the next one is uh what are your academic or professional goals that's usually pretty easy for a student to write about if you kind of have some idea um, they they want something. They want to know that their money is going to something that feels good. They don't they don't want to know that you're gonna 
uh, you know, work at a, an insurance firm the rest of your life. Um, they, they want you to like make a difference. Um, if you have community service, I don't know. I don't think done, I've, I've never done community service. Have you Have you done any service like with, um, you know, in any like it doesn't have to be community service. It could be just like a church group or your your uh, your uh, the people you do the ice skating with. Maybe you guys all went out and you know um, did something for others. Like it's it's where you're doing something for other people. Uh, maybe not. Um, about no, a leader. I think I've done this babysit leader. Leader. Have you have you ever stepped as up as a leader? Mm. I don't remember if I ever have. I think so. So we would need an example of that. Um, has there been someone that's influenced you? You know, parent, a friend, your mom. Okay. So that could be a good place to start here. Yeah, my mom is a very big leader. She gives me college and uh, job advice. Well, that's, 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 uh, we're looking for an influencer, someone that, um, you, you, they, they've like, you had a conversation with them and all of a sudden your life changed. Like when you, when you and your dad talked about ice skating, you went, got back into it. That could be the start of a college of a scholarship essay. Yeah. But like my mom gives me a lot of advice, like, like for a lot of things and it just really helps me out you know like um she gives me a lot of life advice basically i don't know i don't know man maybe my yeah maybe the figure skating thing is a good idea maybe um so, yeah, That's okay. We're, we're just we're just talking about this now. Okay. Yeah, All I don't right, know what else to say. That's, that's fine. Um, another reason is why do you want to go to college? Like they want to know, and that's kind of like the whole. Um, what are your academic or professional goals? They just want to. They want to know that you're going to actually use this money and graduate. Um, I want to go to college because well i'm interested in history and marine biology i want to go do something with those two subjects i want to like be maybe just when i'm older okay uh, why do you why are you interested in that because um as a kid i've always loved the ocean and the water and i just like sea creatures in general because i don't know they're just they're more interesting to learn about. And then like, you know, the whole environment thing with people dropping junk in the ocean. I don't like that either. And I just want to like help out the sea creatures basically. Okay. So that's all good. Yeah. Um, Here's something that I learned about college essays and it makes sense uh, when I, when I first heard it, there are literally like thousands, hundreds or thousands of essays that each person who's asked to do this has to review. So the more interesting your essay is, the more heartfelt, the better. These are about emotion. They're not about logic. That's what I like because I'm on a, I like expressing my emotion. So I think that's a good thing. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, what, like, imagine typically these essays are written, we'll say, you know, as a 16, 17, 18 year old, um, what I want you to do is, is, um, write one to two sentences about yourself. They sometimes call this an elevator pitch and, and some directions you could go is is your your age, uh, where you live, um, how your your interests, uh, fun facts about yourself. Okay, like do I have to make it like, like the first sentence could be like what I 
where I live and stuff, and the second sentence could just be about, like, my interest in fun facts, basically. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of this we'll use, some of this we won't, but it's, it's a lot easier to sort of start. Um, okay. Did I mention my name? Like, I'm Ivana. I'm like, sure. I'm, yeah. I graduate next year, so. Yeah, I mean, do this as if you're 18. You're you're, you're basically about to graduate. Um, so, like, my whole name? No, just, just you know, just introduce yourself. All right, here's what I have written so far. I think it's good. All right. All right, so we'll get to the, yeah, you're put, putting a little too much into this, but that's okay. Uh, you know, we're going to use all this information. Uh, you know, you want to say, you know, you know, hi, you know, something. My name is Ivana and I am 18 years old, living in Scottsdale, Arizona, and am applying for the scholarship. Yeah, the the college scholarship. We we should see you're you're saying what you're doing. That's the standard thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Um Fun fact, I have been figure skating since I was three years old. Well, technically, um, let's just say 13 because that's more accurate. Well, you want to be interesting. Because if I say three you? years old, they're going to be like, oh, she's that good. Oh, my God. No. Well, this is, this is about, you know, this is a. It's a contest. I mean, this is a uh, perception. All right. We're you're not actually trying to send. I and I agree. It's it's like where do you stand? You, it's up to you ultimately. But that would that's that's interesting. I don't think they get very many people that figure skate in Arizona as well. That's also going to be. All right.
So, um, what other, uh, what other, like, uh, let's, let's do this bullets here. Uh, give me three more fun facts about yourself. Okay. Um, I love to listen to music. Okay. Um, so, so don't take this the wrong way. Uh, that's, that's, that's uh, not interesting because everyone listens to music. That's true. Um, hold on. Um, so, so try to think of things that are very unique to you, like that you know are different. I like learning about ancient world history. Yeah, that's too academic. Um, think of it this way: like I was watching um something on live eels the other day, and like if you told me that you you tasted live eels for the first time last summer when you were you know in uh where were they thailand like that would be really interesting and different oh that's what okay. i'm talking about like i can maybe obscure is more is the better word mm -hmm. so if i'm saying i'm bilingual in bulgarian Ooh. what that can be Ooh, considered... that's interesting okay yes um because it is I true speak, i am bilingual i speak two languages uh, i i speak uh bulgarian oh that's written right that's that's interesting no, like you that's spelled different. that absolutely right Okay. Fantastic. Um, so that is interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Um, um, so what else? Um, and it could be something simple, like, like if, if we were doing one for me, it's that I like pumpkin pie, even though my mom ate pecan pie when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> so it's not that it's not that the the pumpkin pie is interesting it's that she was eating, eating something totally different when she was pregnant like the story okay. goes you know and that's what i'm that's what i'm looking for something it doesn't it can be like yeah i like listening to music but it's like i use i listen to music on a walk man you know or i listen to cassette tapes or something you know it's got to be make you stand out uh okay I mean, I have the CDs from my old movies that from old from Disney films that I used to watch. Okay, um, does that count? Do you like to do karaoke? Do you like to um? Do you sing them? You know, I like I mean, go karting. Um, so we're looking for like weird events, also like uh, one time. Uh, a lot of mine seem to involve food. I I somehow um, caused a mustard packet to squirt the mustard onto the back of another person's shirt. Oh, no. Uh, one time, uh, this is actually a funny story because it happened. One time, I'm doing math homework with um, a, my old um, tutor, mm -hmm. and there was a bird outside... Um, my window i was just and my tutor's asking me to answer a question and i because of the bird i wanted to eat chicken so instead of saying the answer i yelled out chicken that's good that's good now what, what um, based on true events was that in person like side by side or like no. a remote session like we're doing it's a it was a remote session in okay. 2020 Okay, got it. Um, Based we're getting on true closer. Events. We're getting closer. Yeah. Um, hmm. Was there more to the story? I mean, did you like? Had you not had chicken in a while? Had you? Uh, no, man. I had you... chicken. Like I had chicken the night before that too. Okay. So something um, made me want chicken. I guess. Right. So so we're talking about like something that you can write more about uh, the bulgarians good um you've not mentioned anything about the ocean like uh have you i like to boogie board okay oh i have so... a really good story about that oh my god <laughs> okay give i can me, say it right give me yeah give me the highlights of it so i'm going boogie boarding in dana point with my friend now the water was really really murky so i couldn't see anything that was like 
under me. So I kicked the fish and I freaked out and swam back to shore because I did not want to go in the water anymore after that. Does he, does he kick the fish? Yeah, I did kick a fish. <laughs> that freaked me out because I didn't expect it. I was like, oh my God. And my friend's like, what happened? I was like, I kicked the fish. He's laughing at me. I'm like, screw you, man. I'm going back to shore. I can't. It was like, okay. It was yeah. Are you on, uh, and, and I'm asking this not because I'm interested in, in you. It, it, it's not about you, but it, it'll help to, to figure out how to answer this. Do you, are you active on any social media platforms? Yeah, I use Instagram. Okay. So Once if I go to Instagram and I look up someone that I'm following, um, so like, let me find some I'm following who you might know. Um, so uh, have you heard of Simona Halep, the tennis player? No. I'm okay. a big fan of Coco Goff, though. Okay. So let's look up Coco Goff. If I go to her Instagram page, I'm doing that right now. Um, she likely puts some something in her bio. Um, like she says she's an athlete. Yeah. It's not that actually she doesn't put that much interesting stuff on there. Um, what I'm looking for is where they actually say like some more interesting things about themselves. And that's what we're, that's what we're trying to like hit on. Like you've already done one of them. Figure skating. Bulgarian, speak Bulgarian. Like we're looking for one more, something else that's kind of like novel or unique about you. And so when I look at like these uh, profiles, you um you you can start to get a sense of like what like what makes them unique or individual. Um, so. Uh, Maybe that's not helping, but I'm trying to get you to give me another word or two, um, you know, that's makes you stand out from everyone else. Cause I, I, I it's kind of like boogie boarding is interesting. And that story is, is we could use that in like a, um, an example of like a failure or something. Same with uh, the chicken. We could probably use those, but they're not like novel enough to catch the reader's attention. How many okay. countries have you visited? Okay, I've been to Italy. I've been to Greece. I've been to well, Bulgaria, obviously. That's where my family is. Um, the Dominican Republic. Mexico. I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, that's basically it. Because I only, I don't know. We only okay. travel out to Europe for family. All right. Um, so like the average person your age probably has been to, you know, especially in Arizona, they've probably been to Mexico, but they've probably not been to Europe. Is there something in Europe that you've done that, you know, is kind of novel, interesting? Um, um, I think this was in Bulgaria. I've been to an actual castle. Like I visited a castle. It was awesome. It was it was okay. amazing. So, would you want to live in a castle? Yeah, I would honestly. All right. So, that may the problem problem with that is um, it it doesn't tie into the marine biology thing. Um, but maybe we can tie in it in at the end. Yeah. Okay. So, I want you to read this out loud and tell me if you feel like this would grab the reader's attention. Okay. Hi, my name is Ivana, and I'm 18 years old, living in Scottsdale, Arizona, and am applying for the college scholarship. Fun fact, I have been figure skating since I was three years old, speak Bulgarian, and would love to live in a castle someday. Oh, yeah. Um, I've also been, I've snorkeled before. I think it was really interesting just to see how... I've been kayaking. I've seen three sea lions um, once at the same time. And I've swam so with dolphins. Okay, so, but when you go, like, when you when you did those things, were there other people there your age? Okay. Um, I'm not yeah, trying to okay. diminish this. I'm trying to, like, like the things you've, you've mentioned here are make you interesting. 
not that those other things don't, but these make you like, oh, this is different. Like, remember, every oh, other I know student... a good one. I know a good one. I um, am CPR certified and first aid certified. So when I had to go take a class on that, I was the only teenager in that class. Everyone else was adults. Just letting you know. So the snorkeling That's a good thing... one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. First aid certified. So this goes to your... Um... This goes to your like um, maturity. We're gonna use that for sure. That's good stuff. Um, yeah. What I'm what I'm trying to get you to to see is that everyone has a first sentence like you. You are now different from all the other people they're reading about. All right. Do you, do you know anyone else that's a figure skater, speaks Bulgarian, and would love to live in a castle someday that lives in Arizona? No. All right. Now, if we're in Bulgaria, that wouldn't be very interesting, would it? Yeah. Now, if you're in Bulgaria, here's a Bulgarian. Uh, I'll do it. Uh, hi. What's another uh, name of a, what's a girl's name? Another girl's name common and from Bulgaria. Oh, um, oh, God, I know this. Uh, <laughs> hold I, on, I, I don't, okay, so. Is, is Helen okay? I don't know, I'm just trying to think of a name. Uh, we, uh, let me see, it's Evgenia, that's a, that's one, it's, I use E-V-G-I-N-A. So, Maybe that. Yeah. All right, so let me, and I'm 18 years old, living What's a what's a town in Bulgaria? Sofia. How do you spell that? Like the name S O F I A. It's just the capital of the city. I mean, it's the capital city, and I'm and that's the the first one that popped in my head because, yeah. I mean, that's that sounds weird. Um, is there are there beaches in Bulgaria? Yeah, we have the Black Sea. Yeah, I'm I'm geographically unsure where exactly that is, so I don't know how many walk. Um, 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 it it's closed off. That's what I'll, that's what I'll say. Close now, we'll see. Okay, so let's just say there's a fictitious girl named Venya, and she lives in Bulgaria, and she's applying for the same, she's applying for a scholarship there. Is golf unusual for someone that lives in Bulgaria? Yeah, I don't know where there's golf courses right. in Bulgaria. I've never seen one. And would you be odd to speak Spanish in Bulgaria? No, a lot of uh, one of my godmother's daughters speaks German. Right. Well, Spanish though. We're talking about Spanish. Spanish yeah. isn't is not the same as German. Like, yeah. would that be odd? Okay, and no. they want to live in a log cabin someday. Would that be unusual for Bulgaria? Yeah, the log okay. cabin would be. So that's what I'm saying. That like, you have created. You've differentiated yourself from all the other people that are in your area. They're applying for the scholarship. I see. And and that's what that's like depends on your perspective. Okay. Okay. So let's go back and answer some of these questions. Um, um so you wanna you wanna create a need. You're you're gonna create a need with this next sentence or two. Um why why do you need scholarship? And the and the answer is some form of the following. Um school is expensive. And it is. the only the only way is to pay for school is is to either get a scholarship or work to pay for it. You want to leave out the possibility that maybe your your family is going to um, be right. able to afford it. So you want to talk. You want to answer the question: Why do you need a scholarship? Well, um, the schools I'm looking at are very expensive. Uh, you want to live on campus. 
right. that's that costs more money you need you need money for food um you know and living expenses um so and but the, all of this is to create a gap so that i can focus on my schooling so you want to you want to answer you want to write something but you're trying to create a need now it should be like one sentence that says that school is expensive like they already know that so you don't need to like overdo it but you want to say hey i'm going to use this money towards tuition room and board lit food and things like that and the scholarship would obviously help towards that yeah scholarships just help a lot because it helps you more with the college part of it and then with whatever leftover money you can use for your like your actual your other needs if you have leftovers obviously okay so um we can leave it for the next hour if you would like yeah but when we come back we need to create a need and the need could be as simple as like the school I'm choosing is really expensive. Uh, you might even say, talk about what you might even talk about the marine biology. Now you might say, Hey, uh, to get a degree in marine biology, costs, you know, hundred thousand dollars over four years and it's very expensive. And uh, they, they, they expect you to say this. There's not like a, it's not like when you go and buy something and you're shocked by the sticker price. It's they know, but they want you to say it. They want you to say, yeah, I have a need. I want this and I have a need. Okay. Got it. So let's go ahead and stop here for, uh, for now. 